And coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. No denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Super! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Great punch landing with so much power. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate. Oh! He was hurt. Oh! oh. there on that high 
kick. Landed a big kick there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big leg kick lands. Beautiful strike. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Try to establish that jab. Nice straight punch. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And both guys really throwing with authority. And there comes the separation now. To throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's trying to kick the leg out. Straight punch lands. Right hook to the body. Well, a lot of people think he might have his liver shot. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. And attacking on bar. Armour's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back and move right in the side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish... Nicely done. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style Blocked. against Denai. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Looks like maybe he's trying to get an arm underneath the chin. He's side to side, trying to get a bulldog choke. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, round two. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 
Just out of range with that right hand. Like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, man. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice punch by Lee. Still standing, still in their fight. Just misses with the straight left hand. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Just on it. the straight punches we've seen all night. He straight punches lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. Kick lands. Why he engages in the single follow tie. Why so we're in the clinch. Not anymore. Beautiful trip to get this fight to the ground, DC. No effort, John. No effort. When you do it right, it takes no effort. And this young man just did it right. Staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Far working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Under two minutes to go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck and he will have to submit. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this track. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight. We're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance today. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number two.
declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time.